Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in the prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well, while you're there... There was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay. I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. You might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah. When the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please. Don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. You said an outside agency may have tampered with a storage locker. What did you mean by that? Well, I've seen, uh, I mean, I've heard that government agents may have locked up some of the more sensitive evidence in a safe inside the locker. Come on, Chase. What are you not telling me? Damn it. Okay, listen. I snooped around that locker before and found the safe code, but I kind of got caught by one of those guys. He knows I know, Jensen. If I give you the code, they'll know I talked. Call me negative, but I can't think of a nice outcome to that. How did you get assigned to this case? I didn't push for it, if that's what you mean. To be honest, I didn't want to get involved. Why not? I was an honest cop, Jensen. I always tried to conduct myself in accordance with the law, with procedures, and what I believed was right. Not really the standard M.O. for a case like this. Why retire from the force only to become a security guard? I mean, it looks like you still love the work. I love the idea of being a cop. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to join the force. But I just got fed up. It's not like I had imagined it. It's a job. Some people are good at it, while others just don't care. And it shows. This case, the Seraph case, it was just the last drop in a cup already full. That's all I need for now. I can never thank you enough for what you did. Welcome. I'm glad you came. I can never properly repay you for what you did, of course, but I would like to help out any way I can. What do you have in mind? There's a gentleman named Seurat who works in the area. His business causes him to move around quite a bit, but at the moment he's occupying an apartment in a building on Earl's Court. If you mention my name, he'll give you a discount on his wares. He deals in 
Well, he's a gun runner. How does a guy like you know someone like that? Growing up in my old neighborhood, you learn pretty quick to cultivate certain types of relationships. You'll remember his name, won't you? Seraph, like the painter. I don't care what some of the other folk at the office say about Whatever happens, my man, don't let them scare you. Don't let them beat you down. Access granted. Try not to start any trouble. Hey, Jensen. Long time no see. Uh, you're not here to see Wayne Haas, are you? He's a desk sergeant on duty right now. Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob and a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? I know you handle the critical evidence linked to the case, and I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. Jensen, I have a message for you from one of your former colleagues, a detective Alexander. Jenny, what did she want? She said she could use some help if you could make your way over to Grand River Road. And might I just add, as wonderful as it is to have you back at the office, I am not your personal dating service. Access granted. Thank <laughs> you. 
Access granted. Access granted. Access grant. Access grant. Regrettable affair. I'd very much like to meet with David Seraph in person. Access granted.
Access grant. Stay here until I get some answers, kid. <coughs> We're talking about some serious fucking crimes. Crimes? What are you talking about, man? My brother's missing and you want to charge him? Typical. All right. Let's try this again from the top. <sighs> when was the last time you saw Lucky? And who was he with? I told you. It was like a week ago. We was hanging with, with some old friends. Old friends. <coughs> right. Listen. We know you both used to run with the Motor City Bangers. We know Jason is still in deep, and we know he's into something big. Yo, you got all the answers. Why are you bothering me? Okay, smart mouth. How does Og Trafficking grab you, huh? Does that ring a bell? Maybe the DRBs are having a chat with your brother right now. What's the matter? Now you've got nothing to say? I've got all day, kid. Access granted. Look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart went on to express a sincere desire to stand in front of the General Assembly with David Sarr. United in their Campbell's doing an autopsy on that John Doe they brought in earlier. Morgue's off limits until he's through. Again? The perp was trespassing. Who cared if the sheriff's rent a cop killed him? Murder's not the issue. 
The way I hear it, our JD is a cop. No way. According to the first responders. Shit. How much you want to bet that story's about to change? Access grant. Grant. Access grant. This ain't no zoo, you jerk. Besides, if it was, you'd be the freak everyone would come to see. Access grant. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The house has been detached, but I left it in the skull, as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. 
Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. Access grant. She knows what's what, that's why. No, it's not a good time. Come back later. Ah, Get well. lost. I mean it. I can call somebody to throw you out. Are you deaf or just plain stupid? I told you to get the hell out of my way. Strong words. You're a real poet. Tell me, is that how you plan to handle the judge when they prosecute you for perjury, possession, and intent to distribute? What the hell are you babbling about, Chrome Boy? Funny story, there's this guy, Glane Lopez, deals dope near City Airport. A real scumbag. You know him? Because I have a nice little chat record between him and you. So you want to go to jail? Or you want to tell me what I want to know? How the hell do you... <sighs> Shit, man. Now listen, I, I just did what was asked of me. I, I didn't have a choice. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning, and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly... It shows the boys who attacked Sarif as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. You got what you wanted. The pro -human organization like had Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to Megan. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our IntelliCams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. 
There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. I don't. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. But I did stumble on something I think you should have. I found Megan's bracelet. I'm sure she'd want you to have it. Oh, Adam. That's very kind of you. Her grandmother gave it to her. She loved that bracelet very much. Thank you for all you did. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. Thank you, Adam. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Welcome home, Who do you Mr. think Jensen. configured your security protocols? Richard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you, quite literally, into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there.